Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? How are we doing? Um, this is the start of a new series, a randomized playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. Which I'm going to be playing primarily for the Patreon. This first episode will go out to everyone, to the world. Uh, but the rest of the series will be played out on the Patreon, which you can find the link to in the description. And you'll get to see episodes like this played through completely. Unedited, unchecked, unchanged. You get to see all my mistakes, all my strategies, all that sort of thing. Um, and then eventually once the series is finished over on Patreon, then I'll upload it. Uh, and make that stuff public on YouTube and probably cut that down into smaller episodes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. So we are going to be playing at Pokemon Fire Red here. Um, but I've randomized this. The starters are randomized. Um, I can't remember if I randomized the wild Pokemon, but the moose sets are randomized. Um, so yeah. It's going to be fun playing this with less game knowledge um i'm also gonna be just generally talking chatting vibes in but yeah um i actually i don't know what to expect from this oh one other thing i've changed is that the national decks is available from the start and that all Pokemon can evolve. So things like trade evolutions, like um, Gengar, Machamp, Alakazam, they will just be able to evolve through the game. I'm not sure what level, uh, but yeah. This isn't a Nuzlocke or anything like that. It's just a, a fun little playthrough. And uh, yeah. I'm kind of keen to figure out what Pokemon we're going to have as our starter. Or at least our starter options. Um, so the way the movesets have been randomized is that they're randomized with a leaning towards the Pokemon's types. Um, the same with TMs and HMs. Um, if you are that type, you have a 90% chance of learning a TM or HM of that type. Um, and then that scales down based on other factors as well. I use the Pokemon, the Universal Pokemon Randomizer to do all of this. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Because uh, this is just a little bit of practice to just have a fun playthrough, understand the technology again because i'm going to be making my own pokemon rom hack um which should be fun so let's see our choices oh my god i was hoping for a dratini oh <laughs> let's see what else there is but i'm almost certainly going to pick dratini oh i also said so that every uh pokemon has at least four moves azuril okay um or Cleffa. Okay. So good types. Honestly, I'd be happy with any of those, but I definitely want Jotini. That is for sure. Um, and as the dragon type isn't in this, because I haven't modified this to have it in, um, it's the better choice out of the three. We'll nickname all our Pokemon. We'll call, it, we'll call this one Draco. It's uh, gone for the Cleffer. Okay. So, every Pokemon will have four moves. Even wild ones. Even like, you know, first stage evolution ones. Like this baby Pokemon. The likes. Um, and yeah. Uh, at least one in five will be a what's considered a decent attacking move. So it will have decent accuracy and be able to do damage. So you're not stuck basically with, you know, like sand attack, um, splash, string shot and growl. Like, so let's see. Let's see what Cleffa's got. And let's see what Draco's got as well. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I've got Dragon Rage. I should get Dragon Rage, right? Because there's not many Dragon type moves 
in Gen 3. Um, the moves have also been set to the power that they are in Generation 6, I believe, was the setting for this as well. So this will be fun. Oh, okay. So I've got Twister, Recycle, Tail Glow, and Mud Shot. Interesting. Okay, so if I go to the bag. Cool, I've got my potion. Um, also, they should be holding an item. So, my item seems to be mail. Tropic mail. It's a great item. Thanks for that. Alright, I guess we get straight into this with Twister. Oh my god, that did hardly anything. Dizzy Punch? Why have you got that? Right, we, we've got to... Yeah, we've got to get rid of some accuracy there. Okay, that's a lot better. Smelling Salt. There's a move I haven't seen in a while. Isn't Smelling Salt the one that does like double damage if you're asleep, but then it wakes you up? That's the one, right? That was a nice straightforward one. We'll take that. Not over the moon at how crap Twister is. <laughs> right, let's take a nap and then we'll head out on our journey, I guess. I don't think I randomized uh, wild Pokemon spawn, so it would be the same Pokemon. Um, and we'll just... Yeah, we'll just get different moves, I suppose. So, this guy gives potion, right? Yeah, nice. Um, so, oh, let's, see, let's see what this Ratchet's got. Ratchet's going to be dangerous in this. Because, obviously, normal type moves are the same type of tap bonus. Let's just get his mod shot going. Present. Okay. Oh, it's the explosion one. Damn. Okay, it was the weak one, thankfully. Oh, yeah, we didn't level up because Cleffa doesn't give out much in the way of um, experience, does it? Being a little baby Pokemon. Well, being able to start with uh, with a Dratini definitely makes me happy. The fact that Mudshot is our best move, however, not so much. One of these is going to be horrible. But Rattata with Present does lend itself to some interesting gameplay. Obviously, there's always a small chance that you'll heal your... Uh, your opponent. But there's also a small chance that you'll absolutely decimate them. Yeah, the one hack I'm looking forward to making will have all the new battle mechanics in, the fairy type. Um, one of my friends sent me a link to some stuff because uh, she's working on one with her friends as well. Um, so I'm going to be implementing all of those things. Because um, it's something I worked on before, and then my computer just like died uh so i'm gonna be smarter about it this time um <laughs> and use github um 
Yeah, I was changing the AI of the trainers, the move sets, and everything. Um, to the point where Brock was like really, really good. Um, and I had to, I had to do, I did the battle on stream. Um, and yeah, it, it went well. It was fun. Okay, so PG has Peck, which is good because it doesn't normally get it. It's normally Spiro that has Peck and PG has Gust. Oh my god, can we level, please? <laughs> I don't even know the level, the um, move level thresholds for Dratini. That being said, my secondary project that I'm working on, uh, which is a Pokedex, will let me know that going forward. Um, also, I'll be posting... I posted an update in the Patreon, but I'll be posting more regular ones because it's uh, at a point where it's starting to become ready for people to test. Uh, so some of you might be able to get your hands on that and have a look and see how it is. Let's give Oak his parcel, get the Pokedex and some Pokeballs and off we go. So the, the Pokedex that I'm making is actually going to be more like, you know, the Pokedex in the show as opposed to the sort of websites that we have at the moment. As great as they are, I absolutely love the likes of Bulbapedia and Cerebi. Um, but they're, they are wikis and encyclopedias as opposed to a Pokedex experience. So I'm creating a pokedex experience um it's going really well at the moment um it has all the basic data in there um runs super quickly because of the way that it draws the data um as opposed to loading individual pages like the like bulbapedia and Cerebi do it just draws it from an api and fills in the data so it's not a website it is literally an application um and yeah, it's super quick. Um, it's going to be set to navigate that data in such a clean way that makes it um, intuitive for that handheld use. And what I'm going to do is release it as an application. Um, I'll release a premium version for like the Patreon and such. Um, and then a basic one with like maybe, I don't know, like some ads on it or something just to kind of raise some money on it. Um, and then I forgot Twister Finches. Um, and then I will also um, be creating a very limited run of physical versions as well. Uh, where it literally just runs that code. Um, and basically, as long as you're connected to the internet, you have a working real life Pokedex. Uh, that's going to take some doing. But um, it's a passion project. Sure. Uh, I definitely want to get a Rattata. Oh, a Rattata and a Pidgey, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I've got five. I've got... We'll catch them up there because they'll be a bit stronger. Uh, should I go fight? I should, yeah. We'll do the optional trainer battle here. I might lose this. We'll see how much... Um, so much is leveled. Oh, Mankey will be good here. Because he's got Clever. Okay, Twister shouldn't kill, I hope. Nice. Yes, and the flinch. So that is free uh, money. Oh, no, 
not staying on the board though. Okay. Rapid spin. That is amazing. Rapid spin doesn't boost your speed in this there, does it? Oh my god, this is and recover. Oh my goodness, Mankey is amazing. What? Let's go again. Oh my god, are you seeing this moveset? Are you seeing this moveset? This is crazy. Yes, we got it. Awesome. I thought I was going to have to waste all the Pokeballs there. But I'm going to have to go and heal this. But what a capture that is. That is a mad moose. Like, straight out of the gate. Does it actually... Rapid spin. Psy wave. Recover. I wonder what else it's got. Because surely it's got a fighting move as well, right? It's got karate choppers. Wow. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah, so it's just a free move on this. Oh, I need to change my battle mode to uh, set. And we'll save that. What? <laughs> this is fun already. I'm definitely going to keep these settings for my ROM hack. Just because, well, not this specific seed. But these settings are definitely good. This gives you more fun movesets early on without necessarily making it easier because it balances. Uh, okay, S slightly, slightly stronger than me. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get beaten here for sure. Tail glow boosts like special defense, doesn't it? I mean, we can try quite a job here. Wow, <laughs> we got crit <laughs> nasty. I need to change the uh, thingy back. Um, I forgot. I put it on fastest text. So if you change the text speed, it becomes unreadably fast. Uh. Oh. Right. We should probably just try and continue going forward. Um... Leave me alone. Of course I had to catch a Pokemon. I've got a Mankey. I know you see me. Ooh, Vulpix, okay. Also, there's a little quirky thing you can do where you can randomize the trainer tutorial.
Yeah, yeah this episode we're going to get through Viridian Forest. That's going to be where we bring this episode to. Yeah, I'll be doing these episodes um, via the Patreon. Uh, probably as um, private live streams, actually. Um, which which will be fun. So, you get to have a little chat with me whilst I play through this. Whilst I update you on what's going on content-wise. Everything else. Um, yeah. Weedle, okay. Um, yeah, we can land a side wave here. Go on, be a good one, be a good roll. Possibly the worst one. Weedle with hydro pump. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, we should definitely just swap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Weedle is just <laughs> and poison fang rather than poison sting. Nasty work. Okay, but Weedle is clearly going to be the answer to dealing with uh, Brock. Then it would seem. Oh my God! It's got the the toxic poison on me already. I should have caught this. Why did I kill it? I should have caught it. That is mad. I was going to train him until it knocks me out and sends me back. Sand Tomb as well. Jesus Christ, the moveset's crazy. Go on, give me a good roll on this, please. I need it. Oh, it's a bad roll again. It's getting awful rolls on Cywave. Couldn't get the recover neither. Oh, Shed Skin coming in clutch there. Love that. Nice. Poison Fan's going to hurt, but it won't kill. <laughs> the poison might, though. Yeah, we definitely need to catch one of these. That is... What is that a moveset? Mental. God, what? Here we go, Pikachu. Let's see what Pikachu's got. I can hit it with a mud shot here. Uh, probably for enough to kill, actually. Nice. Caterpie. Now, in a previous Fire Red randomizer that I did, Caterpie learned Hyper Beam, <laughs> which was mad to say the least. Oh, stun spot, okay. Um, I actually want to catch this. I 
I don't want to catch everything because you don't know what the movesets are going to be. And Butterfree's not exactly a bad Pokemon. Uh, let's, let's check out our movesets, because there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Sandtoon, Poison Fang, Signal Beam, and Hydro Pump. Wow. Why didn't it use Signal Beam? That's like... Yeah, that's insane. Okay. I was going to say, there's only two better bug moves in Gen 3 than Signal Beam, and Caterpie's got both of them. <laughs> so, Silver Wind, which... So, I've got Ancient Power and Silver Wind, which are basically the same move, but just different types. And then I've got Stun Spore and Mega Horn, which is, like, the top-tier bug move. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. All right. Wow. <laughs> and there's the ancient power. Yeah, we got rid of the paralysis, which is great. Now we can go first and maybe get a flinch on it for the win. No, no flinch, but the stun spore failed. Yeah, I am actually going to go and heal just because I don't like the uh, the ambulance noise. But this is a ton of fun already. We got a monkey with recovery. A caterpie with omni boosts. <laughs> a weedle with hydro pump. He's mad. Out of all of these, I've got a monkey, a dratini, a weedle, and a caterpie. And the dratini is the worst one of them all. Move set wise, at least stats wise, it's obviously Jutine is clear of everything. Like President Ratata doesn't even like make me think anymore. Oh, of course you're gonna have Psybeam. Of course you're gonna have Psybeam. Why wouldn't you? That didn't kill. You've got to be joking me. Right, okay. We're going to we're going to Malone here. Okay. Wow. I was hoping it would use Cybeam because I think I survived this. I don't because I get crit. Okay, fair enough. Um. Let me let me go Draco here. That Rasta Musa actually doesn't excite me as much as the ones I've got. I I guess we go back <laughs> after that. Ratata, crazy.
what an absolutely mad move set on pretty much everything here. It's mad because I I've set it as well to scale up so that like most of the strong moves come later, but like I've got them now. Like again, the fire red randomized I did before. Um, I think like by the time I was facing Brock, my Charmander had like blast burn, <laughs> which is just like okay, this um this is like slightly unbalanced. But I mean, a Hydro Pump on a Weedle is equally mad. Um, I'm actually going to lead with Malone here just because it does have Netball. Okay. Makes things easier to catch here. I mean, I don't think there's anything else I want to catch here. But yeah, we're just going to try and progress as much as we can. What? These... Hey, these are some nuts movesets. Okay, so here we go. Weedle. Um, thankfully, Weedle's quite weak. So I can go for here is... I can go for Ancient Power here. So Sand Tomb, okay. I so say we'll be okay with that. But yeah, the fact that I've got Ancient Power um, would make it a good shot. Poison Fang, however, not so great for me. Can I switch out of... Can I switch out of Trapping Moves in this gen? I can't. Okay, so Malone's going to die here. Unless it misses something. Santum, we might survive this. It does two, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Oh, nearly double level there. That would have been nice. Um. Okay, so we switch out now. Um, we know what cap he's got though, so we've got to be careful here. There's a high chance it goes for ancient power, right? Then again, wild Pokemon just go their attack at random pretty much. Oh no, this is a trainer battle. Um, what have you got? You get anything for it though? Not really. Not particularly. Um, I think it's got to be Draco here. Oh, Stun Spore. Okay. We got off lightly there. Um, so, Tail Glow is going to be... Is this Special Defense? I hope so. Oh, no. It's Special Attack. Okay. I was hoping for the special defense boost because that would make Catapy's moves a lot worse. Um, we'll go mud shot for the accuracy. We don't get an accuracy drop there. Oh, if they Omni boost now, we are finished. Mega Horde, thank God that missed. Thank God that missed. Okay, Draco, you got this. It's light. There we go. Mad. <laughs> this, this randomizer is already just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I should have bought potions. If I die, I'll buy potions. Um, yeah, we'll still we'll still lead with 
I'm alone here. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. I can do what I want, bro. I do what I want. Uh, let's get the ancient power. Go on. Do enough. Do enough. Not quite. <gasps> Omni boost. Okay. This might actually. This m maybe gives us enough to survive. Maybe. I'm not banking on it. Oh my god, no. We, we died to a hydro pump, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they survived that. I think Recycle is going to be entirely useless in this because there's no berries in Fire Red. I don't know what Cocoon is going to have. We can only assume it's got the same mad moves as... Uh... I just realized it's a speed drop, not an accuracy drop. For some reason I thought it was a speed drop. Yeah, it's going to have the same sort of mad moves that um, Weedle's got. Oh my god, the Mega Horn. Did not need that. Did not need that. Nasty. Okay. Um, let's, let's, let's see what Deathworm can do. Let's see what Deathworm can do. Um, okay, so we could, we could sand tomb here. We should survive the silver wind, right? Yeah, we're good, we're good. And then... I guess we just gamble on the hydro pump. It missed, of course. Hin missile, nasty. All right, uh, you've done enough now. Oh my goodness. Of course. Of course. That is crazy. Jabs, it's all you, mate. It's all you. Um, you got a karate chop here. The bulky, bulky poison type is not going to go well. Come on. That's enough. Yes, okay. Eee, okay. Hack it, hack it, hack it. Yes, okay, cool. We're good, we're good, we're good. What? I should have recovered. I was going to recover, but I thought, well, no, we're going to kill, right? No. I got to give it an extra pixel for no reason. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, time to get some, time to get some potions. <laughs> All of these mad moves. All of these mad moves just makes this early game so much harder. Like, yes, I've got good moves too. But. Yeah, the opponents are crazy. And obviously I'm not like power leveling or anything like that.
I can't believe I got spun by Kakuna. Like. On the internet. <laughs> uh, this would be good practice. Might get a level here. Maybe. We'll see. Oh. And then, we, yeah, so we will just, it will get the job done. Doesn't need to. And a cheeky little crit there as well. Can't complain. Alright, let's go again. We should beat this guy now. Can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. I can do what I want, mate. Like. Okay. So, first things first. We've got Ancient Power. Give me the Omni Boost. No? Nothing? Cool. Alright, safe. So, we're speed tied. Okay. Well, this Cappy is quite quick then. Yes, okay. This makes things a lot better. Now we use Silverwind here because we don't need Ancient Power to be able to kill. But we could still get another Omni Boost. Yes! Oh my god, this is working. This is working well. So, uh, Caterpie now is quite strong. Hopefully, uh, by the time in Gen 3, they fixed the thing where... Because in, in Gen 1, if you had stat boosts and then you leveled up, um, it would erase your stat boosts. I, th I'd, I would like to think they fixed that. By this point, it's hard to tell. All right, two's enough. Two's enough. Okay, maybe two wasn't enough. Two wasn't enough. Okay. Um, but this is this is an opportunity for jabs now. Two is enough, please. Okay, so we can do two on that one. Just to give me a false sense of security. I know how this is going to go. Oh my god. If, if, he, if he Omni Boosts on the Silver Wind, I'm pissed. Okay, doesn't. Awesome. We're good. Jabs gets probably like two levels, maybe even three here. Yeah, there's the second. Yeah, just two. I mean, I say just two. Like, that's not a lot. <laughs> it's plenty. Um, yeah, we'll go for a side wave here. Signal beam, okay. Remember, we can recover as well. Uh, so we'll we'll hit the recover. Ah, nasty work. Just as well, I went for the rapid spin here. Because I do want to swap out.
And we'll go into, into Draco here. Draco should be able to win this. I think it would be nice if Shed Skin allowed you to get out of um, trapping moves like the Shed Shell item does. I think that would be pretty cool. But I mean, it's a good ability as it is. It's a great ability. There's a one in three chance of just being like, you know what? I'm not poisoned anymore. <laughs> I, I just don't feel like being poisoned anymore. Like, nah. It makes Toxic a lot less scary. Nice. All right, so we're out of that. Uh, Mankey's going to die because I don't have any antidotes, right? Yeah. But. Um, another netball. Okay. I mean, we'll take it. Big up jabs. You did well. This might take a couple of trips. Oh, we've only really got, what is it, one more trainer to beat? Nice. We, we might be able to just get through this with just a teeny metapod. It's going to be the same moveset as Thingy though, right? So... Oh no, it is a different moveset completely. Because well, Horn Attack is not on Cappy's list of moves. Nice. Swift, I'll take that. Um, I think we get rid of Yeah, there's no berries in this, right? So, yeah, we'll just get rid of a cycle I mean, Twister is still very much our go-to move. But if anyone does try a little, you know, a little accuracy drop, we, we can we can deal with that. There's usually an item down here. Correct. Max. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A max revive. We'll, we'll take it for sure. Uh, not going to use it right now, though. I think that's a bit of a waste to use a max revive on like quite a level five manky or whatever it is. All right, so we win here and we're good. We're Gucci. Just a Weedle. Just a Weedle. It's level 9, but you know, Draco's level 8 and, you know. Hydro Pump, we would resist that anyway. So this is good for us. Yes, okay, that's cool. Use the, all your Hydro Pumps. I got that. The 
Why is that seem to be your best move in this situation? I thought it's your highest power move, but it's also the one that I resist. I mean, no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Okay, we safely made it out into Pewter City, and that's how I'm going to end this video. The next episode, which will be on the Patreon, we will be taking on Brock's gym, and we obviously don't know what sort of moves they're going to have there either, but we have got some pretty cool Pokemon. I need to obviously train up the likes of Jabs and Deathworm. I need to train up everybody, really, because Brock's sitting at, what, level 14? So we got a little bit of work to do. But what <laughs> some of these moves? Let's have a look at them again. Let's have a look at some of them again. Ancient Power, Silver Wind, Stun Spawn, Mega Horn, Twister, Swift, Tail Glow, Mud Shot, Sand Tomb, Poison Fang, Signal Beam, Hydro Pump, and Karate Chop, Psy Wave, Rapid Spin, and Recover. Absolutely crazy move sets. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And there's also a chance of catching a Nidoran in um, Pewter City, so that could be interesting as well. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, if you want to see more of this, please do consider checking out the Patreon in the link in the description. I'll put it in a, in a pinned comment as well. Um, and links to all the other stuff as well that I mentioned will be in the description as well but thank you very much for watching and um yeah also thank you to all the patrons as well their names are also going to be in the description big up you guys and uh, i'll catch you next time take care and peace